What's next for the EURUSD as we start a new month? Are we going to see a 280 pip drop? I'll share my thoughts in today's video along with key levels and targets as well as the latest on the EXY and the DXY. But before we get started guys, I do want to tell you if you want to see my trades in real time, also my help with your trading in Discord plus daily videos, click on the link at the top of this video and you're going to be taken to this page where when you sign up, and this is a limited time offer, where when you sign up with my preferred broker, at least $100, okay, and trade a minimum of one lot, you are going to get a 30% deposit bonus plus lifetime access to our VIP group. Okay, so once again, limited time offer, see the link in the description of this video, or if you're on the website, click on the link at the top of the page that says broker, and you will be taken to this page right here. And just to clarify to you guys, the course is coming this month. So this is just one way to get into the VIP group. There are two ways. The other way is to just join outright. So you can pay right now. And for this month only through April 19th, I'm dropping the lifetime access subscription to 80% off. Okay, so see the link in the description of this video where you can get 80% off VIP access. That's lifetime access to the same benefits, daily videos, see my trades in real time, plus the upcoming course. Okay, so looking at the Euro USD, this market so far has played out really nicely compared to the recent videos that I've made. So looking back a couple of weeks ago, I didn't make a weekly forecast this past weekend because of the holiday. But looking back here, this was the last key level that we talked about as we started this week. Okay, last week. So we got the retest of 1.0865. We got a nice sell-off from that level. You can see that this retest right here came within one pip of that level. Nice move lower. This closed right here below 1.08. This is what we talked about last week. Okay, so this put the euro below this key pivot right here to where unless the market was able to recover above this level, which it did not, then I was looking for lower here from the euro USD toward 1.073. And you can see that's exactly what we have here today with the low coming in at 1.0731. Okay, now we are seeing the market come into some support here. Okay, so keep that in mind as you move forward here early this week, because there is a chance that we get a little bounce here from this area down here because again, 1.073 is key support. This was a fake out back here that gave us the move higher. And so far we are seeing the market come into this. However, again, this area up here, okay, right below 1.078 or so is going to be resistance. Okay, so we could see a little bounce here to start the week. But then I think from there, this is gonna be resistance up here. We've got support down here. A close below this opens up that recent low, but also levels like 1.067 and potentially 1.0635. But the reason I titled today's video the way I did is because if you look here at the price action, okay, over the past really year or so, um, what you can see is that for the most part, the Euro USD has moved within a range. Okay, so if we plot this out going all the way back to the start of 2023, what you'll notice is that this has really just been one big range here for the Euro. Okay, now the key to this, and this is true for any type of trading, okay, any type of market, um, any type of price action you look at, whenever you look at a range like this or a trend, whatever it might be, the key to identifying what is likely to come next, okay, we don't know where this market's going to go, but what is likely to come next, we have to look at the highs and lows. And when you look back here during this uptrend, you can see we had higher highs and we had higher lows. Okay, so that was pretty easy to figure out that we did have the market moving higher. However, everything changed here with this October low because that was a lower low. Notice back here, higher highs, right? Throughout this entire period. We then got the October low. That was a lower low. And this back here, okay, to end 2023 and the start of 2024, this was the fake out. This is where I was getting bearish on the euro, if you guys will remember. And since this time back here, this is a lower high. Okay, so we've since had a change in trend here, even though the euro has been sideways for the most part over the past 15 months, we do have a change in trend where we have this lower high and lower low. So the reason that I think we could get a 280 pip move lower is because if you just look here, obviously the range lows are down here in this area, right? We also have, again, recently a lower high and lower low. So this move right here, all of this right here is part of the euro USD coming off of that lower high. So in order to satisfy this change in trend, we are likely, in my opinion, to see a move down here toward 1.05. And furthermore, don't forget, as I mentioned a few times over the past couple of weeks, the EXY, the Euro index, we do have it breaking down from this massive triangle. Okay. And I know a lot of people have said, you know, this is a weekly chart. Who cares about a weekly chart, et cetera. 
but this is why you care. Because look at what's happening here today. I mean, over the past couple of weeks, over the past few weeks, we have gotten a nice trend lower. So regardless of what time frame you are trading, like I mentioned last week, even if you're trading the one hour time frame, right? Do you want to be looking for longs from support during this? Or do you want to be looking for shorts from resistance, right? And this all comes back to the EXY and that weekly breakdown. So this right here told you that even if you're trading the intraday charts, you probably want to be looking for shorts from resistance instead of longs from support. Okay, now this could change, but the only way that the euro becomes bullish from here is if we were to see the market, okay, the EXY trading back up above this area, this apex up here on a weekly closing basis. That's the only way. And the longer this goes, right, moving lower here, taking out the lows every week, the more likely it is that this is a confirmed break and we're looking at a move down here towards some of these lows this year. Okay, so right now, to me, this is a confirmed break. It could change, of course. Um, but right now I am looking for Euro shorts. I'm continuing to look for Euro shorts. And in fact, I do have two uh, positions on, two short positions on the pound. Okay, so once again, I think this really comes down to the highs and lows here um, for the Euro USD over the past 15 months. Higher highs, higher lows back here. This right here changed the entire dynamic of this range to where we now have lower highs and lower lows. So to me, especially this little break here of this trend line, we're looking at lower here for the euro, unless the market were to reclaim some key levels like 1.08. All right, now let's flip over here to the DXY to kind of round things out, looking at the dollar index. And this is the breakout that I've also mentioned here over the past few weeks. Okay, so I was getting bullish at the start of the year back here in this area. Once again, it got bullish over here on this 103 reclaim. And we are seeing the market starting to break out from this descending channel. Now, the key for the DXY, as I mentioned last week, was a sustained break above 104.45. So this area right back here. And you can see we did get it late last week. So we got the close above. And so far this week is rallying right from that level. So, so far so good from the DXY. This is exactly what I've discussed in recent videos. Okay, so the next key level is of course going to be this area right back here. So we've got these lows. We've got this one here. We've got these highs. So this area right around 105, okay, 105 pretty much exactly is going to be the one to break. Now, right now the market is trading, you know, just above the lower edge of that boundary, but I would like to see something more convincing here, you know, up here in this area to really confirm that the DXY has broken out. Of course, there are still several hours left in today's session. So we'll see how this goes. If it can close, you know, somewhere up here in this area, then to me, that would confirm a break where this becomes support and we get that push higher potentially up toward that 106 region. Okay. So if we look at the weekly chart, this is why this area up here around 105.8 is going to be critical. Okay. So you can see that right up here, all right, this was support back here, resistance before that support here, resistance again. And then we've got this little pivot through here. So there's a lot going on up here at 105.8. Um, and like I've said, guys, over the past few months to the past year, really, I personally think that the DXY, that all this is going to resolve to the upside, to the point where this big red candle on the weekly chart back here, there was a very shallow retrace back here. There is a pocket up here around 109 to 110 that has yet to be filled. Personally, I think that's where the DXY is headed this year. And I know a lot of people disagree with me. Most people do, and that's okay. But I think that this is where the DXY is headed, obviously, if it can break above this high back here. So that could obviously push the euro much lower um, than even those recent range lows, okay? Because the range lows for the euro are these range highs for the DXY, okay? But as far as, you know, short-term targets for the euro, when you look at the DXY, um, again, I'm looking for a break above this 105 area to expose the 106 region, okay? So for the euro, the way that looks is if we do get the DXY breaking above 105, then we could see a rather shallow retrace here of this candle, maybe up here toward this high in this area before we get new lows, but a sustained break below 1.073 is going to be required to open up lower targets. All right, so ultimately looking lower for the Euro USD here, the only way this is gonna change guys is if we do get a sustained break above this area up here. Okay, so unless we see something like this here for the Euro USD over the coming days, and it would have to happen rather quickly, if we were to get something like this over the coming days, then that would negate the bearish bias. But as long as the market is below this area here on a daily closing basis, I am going to be looking lower for this pair down here towards some of these lows with a target over the next 
you know, four to six weeks of these lows down here around 1.05. Subscribe to the channel for daily FX videos. Don't forget to, to smash the like button to show your support and also sign up to Blueberry Markets, deposit $100 or more to get VIP access, including the course that launches this month. Trade well out there and I will talk to you again tomorrow.